continues. Welcome back. Now, you may find yourself wanting to help in any way you can to uh, after recent natural disasters like Hurricane Florence or the earthquake and tsunami in Indonesia. But before you donate, be sure you know where your donations are going. Kelly Trevino, as I said, with the Better Business Bureau is here with some tips. Hello, Kelly. Yes, hello. Um, you know, right now is just trying times mm -hmm. and we have a lot of natural disasters. So it's just natural that you want to help. Um, yeah. You just have to be very careful with how you're helping. Um, if you do want to make a donation, start asking some of those important questions uh, such as are there boots on the ground mm -hmm. uh, we saw this in Hurricane Harvey yeah. in the aftermath a lot of people wanted to help but those organizations that you were giving money to some of them could not even get into the areas that were most devastated so ask those questions are there boots on the ground mm -hmm. is this actually going to help them can you even take the aid to the people that need it the most um, you also need to ask that question is this direct aid or yeah. do you help out a lot of different causes because that happens a lot Yes, um, so you may donate to a, a charity and they disperse those funds to different causes and mm -hmm. you think it's going to help one thing or another. So ask that question, exactly where is my money going? Yeah. And before you try to give an in-kind donation such as clothes or, fo uh, clothes or food, um, make sure that they're able to, to process that. Again, we saw this, uh, we lived through this yeah. after Hurricane Harvey. It became a disaster in itself. The clothes we could not keep up with, the food, the donations, and they were they ended up in landfills because there was no one to take well, care of Well, and that was the one that I found really interesting because I hadn't thought about that. Um, I know that, like you said, we saw this during Hurricane Harvey. There wasn't enough storage for a lot of these places, but another thing that you mentioned was the fact that um, if they're having to mail these things out, Right. That's an extra charge. They, and, and, and so usually they don't have the funds to do that. So it just goes into a landfill. So so be careful with that. Crowdfunding is something mm -hmm. we also see. This is like That's the GoFundMe pages. Yeah. Um, we we have some great resources like Give.org that can actually vet those charities. But with crowdfunding, those are individuals, mm -hmm. and that gets a little more difficult. So if you do want to give money, make sure you're giving to someone that you, you actually know personally. Mm -hmm. um, there was a woman in California that took $11,000 off social media and she said that she was a wife of one of the the people battling the wildfires eleven thousand dollars before they shut that page down wow. and it turned out to be a scam wow uh, so be careful with this crowdfunding and who you're giving your money so to. so Kelly would you say that the the main things to take away from this today is see if there's a local chapter to yes. who you're helping mm -hmm. uh, and also the best way to donate is give.org uh, go to give.org you can check out all of those charities that are accredited so that you know when you're giving that money to them um, you can read everything that you want to about them you find out about them before you give your money because bottom line is yeah. we want to help and if you're giving your money to a scammer it's not helping absolutely well we've got all the well we just had all the information <laughs> uh, right there on your screen but of course we'll have all of this on our website christv.com 